Uh, oh yeah, by the way, for those of you guys who know, you you played at Red Rock, correct? Mm -hmm. With a uh, Barry Club in Redwood City, and then you're from Atherton. Yes, I lit is right by Stanford near the Palo Alto area. Here, represent. California on my license plate. Last year they ain't even like the bay. Um. So, how did you start playing volleyball? I played for my middle school sports teams. I did soccer, basketball, volleyball. I ran track. Um, I did one year of softball, but I was always a four sport athlete in middle school. And then with volleyball, it was like, I remember it was eighth grade and I just had, had a pretty good like overhand top spin serve. And in eighth grade, I don't know. At the time, it it was pretty good. Um, and I didn't really, I didn't play club ever. So I, how old are you in eighth grade? Like, I don't know, 13, yeah, four, 13, 14. And I hadn't played club. So a lot of girls play like 12s, 13s. I'd never played, but I had a pretty natural overhand serve and I was pretty strong. And um, one of the coaches from Red Rock, shout out Robin, um, he saw me serving at a, like a, a St. Joe's volleyball game and told me I should try out for club volleyball and I had no idea what it was but some of the people I knew played it so my mom took me to tryouts I tried out and I made the 14 threes team so I made the worst team you <laughs> one could make <laughs> that's great and then I mean look at where you are now you know. I know I had a I had a mom email me the other day and she said my daughter just made the 14 threes team and she's crying and she's so upset and she doesn't even want to play club this year but I tried to tell her that Victoria Garrick started on the 14 threes team she's like can you please email my daughter it's just funny like I and I wasn't even I didn't even care like I didn't know a lot about club I was like Oh, there's a ones in the. I didn't. I don't know. I just went to my threes team and I was like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, and I'll probably kudos to your parents for like just being affirmative of that experience because I, I truly. I mean, I see this so often in the classroom that you know parenting plays such a huge role in how a young person views their life, and if they view it as a bad experience, they get that from somewhere, you know, versus a parent just telling you, yeah, you made a team, good job deal with it like just be better if you want to get better and and yeah. that's it. so what made you want to play libero honestly playing in the pack 12 i when i was 15 years old realized i wanted to like college volleyball was it when i no when i was 16 no wow when i was 15 i realized i want to play college volleyball so after just a year of club well i mean i played on the 14 threes team halfway through the year i got brought up to the twos team so that's when my mind i sort of it's like the threes team you're just like you're kind of kept like in the dark then when you get to the twos team you're like around the ones team more so i started realizing like there's all these levels and there's this recruitment um so my fifth so that i finished the 14 years on the twos team i made the 15 ones team and i was the worst on the team but these girls were having college coaches come. One of them was committed to uh, Colorado. So I was on a 15 team with a girl who was already going Pac-12. So it started getting on my radar. And I don't know why I loved USC so much. I, I just did. I, I thought Natalie Hagland was an amazing player. I thought the team was just out of, like next level. And when I watched them play at Stanford, it was, I just gravitated towards it. And so... I realized I wasn't a good enough hitter to hit at that next level. And I think it's really important too for young volleyball players to know their weaknesses. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as you want to be something, I mean, we have to be realistic, right? Like I can't, like maybe, maybe I could have got my vertical up where I could have been in outside for you. Like, I don't know. I can't even finish a sentence because I just really don't think it would have happened. So I was like, but how can I put myself in a position to be recruited by these schools? And it was becoming a libero. But I actually wasn't the one that ha thought of this in the first place. My coach sat me down and I remember where we were sitting in the in the club arena and she was like, I want you to be our libero next year. Like, I think if you want to play USC, you want to play Pac-12, like this is the move for you. And I didn't fight her on it. I mean, my dad was definitely bummed. My dad was like, 
oh, why? Like, no, you're a good hitter. Like you let them in kills. Like my dad's looking up the stats. Like, you know, I was a, I went to state championships with my high school team as an outside D4, but still. And, um, we, I was, I was a, one of the starting hitters with another hitter who was going to Princeton. So my dad was like, no, you can hit. And I, I was like, no, I I think this is the move. I don't know. I, and then I was just drawn to the position. I think there's something super powerful about being solely dedicated to one thing. Like, like I will keep the ball off the ground, you know? And I love owning a role like that. So everything sort of aligned and I felt like I had a great personality fit for this position. Yeah, you know, like, I didn't get to watch you play on TV as much. I don't...